Folks, what you're seeing now is the former Martins Lake. You can see the dike here and how this body of water is drawn down. There's virtually no water in it. Just a few, few little little areas where there's enough water to hold something but not enough for for much and it's certainly nothing like it usually is this time of year Martin's Lake was drawn down to allow for renovations they're gonna deepen these channels that you see and they're gonna put a couple of newer channels in towards the center the problem is the contractor backed out of the agreement so last year they drew drew the water down they pulled the drain and got it down to this level or maybe even a little bit lower this is a bit higher probably because of snow melt and the rain we had a week or so ago anyway the contractor bailed out now we a good number of us attended a public meeting Oh, a week ago Monday, where the DNR explained what would happen here. They said that with the contractor backing out of the agreement, the project would have to go back for bid, a new contractor hired, and maybe, just maybe, they'll get working on it this summer or fall, and sometime next year, they'll fill this back up. We were told at that meeting there would be a press release of some sort to let us know what's going on. And I haven't seen anything yet, and I haven't heard anything. So I'll continue to watch for it and listen for it, and if I hear something, I'll share it probably on social media. But right now, what you see is what you get. It's disappointing, it's frustrating, and I just don't understand how somebody can back out like this on a project like this without some sort of penalty now I do know when I looked at the bid specs there was something that I thought might have involved damages if you back out but I don't know if that applies or not when we asked at the meeting a couple of weeks ago or a week ago they were told they couldn't say and I imagine that's probably in their defense. It's probably being handled by the DNR legal team. But um, by the way, notice the sandhill cranes out there. Um, anyway, there they go. Nope, that's the geese going in front of them. But they're calling. I see five of them out there right now. Anyway, this is the where this is the condition of Martin's Lake. I would I really don't think it's realistic to expect that they'll put water in it until the next contractor is hired. Because if it if in fact it does go at the pace that they said was possible, that work would start this this summer or fall. Well what would be the point of filling this up again and trying to get it to dry out? So as for the project itself, I think the project's very worthwhile. This, this pool has silted in. You can see there, it's, it's, there's just not much depth to it. So the project itself is worthwhile. That the contractor bailed out, that's the frustrating part. I think when they do the rebidding, I would really hope that that contractor would not be allowed to bid on on any new projects here and really I would hope that that contractors banned from bidding on any state projects for a while but they don't ask me so we'll see what happens it would be really ironic if the same contractor has the lowest bid in the next round the lowest bid that's probably higher than much higher than it was here and ends up getting it after all and the penalty that they pay 
for not following through this year is just a drop in the bucket for the project. But let's hope that they can't even bid. A lot of people were affected by this. Not just the contractor, not just the DNR, but the people who fish this, people who paddle this, people who go birding out here, wildlife observing. A lot of people were affected by this. We need to we need to keep track of what's going on out here. I'm now approaching the opposite end of where we started on this hike on Long Martins Lake. I'm gonna get off of this dike. You can see there's nothing out here. Nothing's changed. It's discouraging, it all looks the same. You got woody growth starting up out there. It's just a mess. But hopefully, when it's all said and done, we'll have a much nicer Martins Lake. It just might take a while. And let's hope that when it's rebid, let's hope that we don't have people bidding for less work at more money so we don't end up getting the project that we thought we were getting because that would be an injustice as well. If you sign a contract, follow through with it. But it is what it is.